I just want you to get there. Why are you asking me all of these questions? Montgomery County 911, what's the address of the emergency? Welcome to another episode of Voices of Service. Today we have a unique episode lined up for you. In the world of law enforcement, there is a critical part of the team working tirelessly behind the scenes. It is those emergency communication call takers and dispatchers that are often the first point of contact during a crisis, handling everything from 911 calls to directing officers where to respond and updating us on critical information while in the field. It is their skills and quick thinking that can make all the difference in high pressure situations. Today, we're excited to sit down with the Director of Emergency Communications Center, Cass Omley, and Eddie Bencosmi, one of the incredible and bilingual emergency communications call takers. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I talk to you, Cass, us. I talk to you like every day uh, because it's just such a critical part of the operation. And, and I know we said law enforcement, but the neat thing about what we're doing with our communication center is we're gonna we're handling everything. We're handling fire rescue, mm. we're handling uh, police, and also we end up handling common services for Montgomery County th by by a different means. And and that's actually we could talk to you all multiple times because there are such fascinating things um, that you all do and and are a part of, and we're going to do that. But today we want to talk about nine one one non-emergency 311 because we've got we've got issues we've got to deal with uh and and what we want the we want to try and educate our listeners to what's going on and, and how they can get the best service out of this so appreciate you being here um the and, and uh, uh cassandra i brought all my notes awesome. this is just from dealing with a complaint the other day uh, about something and and that's how invested our community is in making sure that uh, our folks are are uh, uh, have everything they need to do the best they can so what are we going to talk about well first and foremost I know that we wanted to make sure that our community understood the differentiation between 911 and our non-emergency number so non-emergency and emergency calls so if you guys would like to clarify I know we spoke on the phone the other day and we were really kind of drilling down into what that is but would you clarify for me or for our community when to call 911 and when to call our non-emergency number sure so thanks for having us and having this conversation I think it's important because typically the first number you hear about is 911 mm -hmm. right you learn that 911 should only be used when it is a true emergency. And what that means is there's a life safety issue, whether it's with the individual that's calling or something they are observing, whether it's a major traffic accident, whether it's a fire, somebody has a medical issue, a burglary, uh, an assault going on, uh, something that is eminent right then and there that is affecting somebody's life. Okay. So that's when 911 should be called. So one of, and one, of the <clears throat> one of the problems we have right now is everyone calls 911. Correct. Because it's just, it's been ingrained. Correct. And then one of the other things, and you, you've been doing this. 33 years. 33 years. You got me by some. <laughs> and your husband, retired police. Correct. Is he what, is he gonna listen? Uh, he will eventually, okay. yes. <laughs> <laughs> if he's allowed. <laughs> yes. So you've been doing this a while, and, and I will say for, for, for my 28 years, Right. Yes. When I came on, uh, people had cell phones, but not like like a cell phone. Well, first of all, it cost money every time you dialed the thing. Like not like today, where you get everything. Um, we had the old Nextels and whatever. But when I was a kid, it was a house phone. The mm -hmm. only people calling nine one one called from their house. Right. Generally. Uh, now, ev my all my kids have had phones since they were thirteen right? Mm -hmm. Everyone has a phone, which is a great thing for society, right? Mm -hmm. We can communicate. But what that means for you all is you get overwhelmed. Correct. We'll, we'll have an accident and 20 people see it and 15 of them call 911. Yes. It kind of overwhelms the system. Yes. Now we're going to do, I, I, we're going to have some fun. All right. You said <laughs> a, a true emergency. Yes. All right. Pop quiz. Yes. I am calling because 
I saw a suspicious person in my neighborhood I felt was suspicious uh, an hour ago. Nine one one or two seven nine eight thousand. Two seven nine eight thousand. Two seven nine eight thousand. We need to have the paddles. Yeah. <laughs> we need a buzzer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's a non-emergency. <laughs> okay. A. I wake up in the morning and discover a theft from a, a theft from my vehicle. Two seven nine eight thousand. Two seven nine eight thousand. I am. <laughs> I see a car accident. I know this one. Nine one one. Okay. Uh. I see. there's injuries. I mean, uh, if you don't know there's injuries, then. Yeah. Right. Oh, wait, that's a nice, well. So okay. you say if there are not injuries. If there are not injuries, Correct. all you need to do is exchange information. information. If there is a problem with that, then that's where then they can call non-emergency. Right. That, and that, shoot, that's another, today's education day, right? If the vehicle can still drive away and there's mm -hmm. no injuries, just exchange information. Yes. That's what we pay a lot. I just got my insurance bill. Yes. Yes. I pay yes. a lot of insurance. In utilize them. Yes. yes. Figure that out. All right. Well, you think of a pop quiz, too. All right. Um, I see uh, a fight. In, this is too easy. You're gonna, a fight, uh, a, a couple of people fighting. Are they physically fighting physically or fighting. verbally? Because they're fighting means something different to other people, yes. right? So physically, yes, 911. Physically fighting, 911. Yes. Right. Now, why is it, it, do you have one? No, go ahead, go ahead. I don't have one, do you have one? <laughs> no, I, I mean, What's I a think Here, you guys quiz us. What's a common one that we should be calling 2798000 instead of 911? So if, say you got robbed. I got robbed. Okay, okay. but you got robbed. Your definition of being robbed now is... Now, hold on. Robbed is when someone uses a weapon and takes something from me by threat of a weapon. Yes. Right. That would be 911. Right. But if you were shopping in Target... Right. ...and you left your purse... Right. ...inside the cart, came back to go pay at the checkout line and found out that your wallet was missing... Right. ...that's a theft, and you don't know when it happened... Right. Mm. ...you can call non-emergency. And what's going to happen... God, we can go so many ways with this. I'm yes. sorry, I'm really excited because I was dealing with No, this, this is great. I, I'm, I'm just enjoying this. Get Ka I got Cass and Cassandra Cassette. Anyway, <laughs> she educated me the other day. I've been doing, I've been in my position for three years and thought I knew a lot. And like I spent an hour with uh, Cass the other day and learned even more. But so we're trying to draw this distinction. We're having fun with this game, but it's very important because what happens when I call 911? Like, if everyone calls 911, I mean, the way we have it set up, mm -hmm. we have to have, we have to answer 911. Correct. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. So what happens when you call that? So when you call that, if we have specialists that are available to answer the call, they will answer the call. Right. If all of the specialists are busy, then they'll get a pre-recorded greeting saying you've reached Montgomery County 911, do not hang up. Right. Stay on the line, the next agent will answer your call in the order it was received. Right. And then it'll be said in Spanish. Right. And then for the deaf community, that's where the tones will the then tones be played. Count. Yes. Right. And you go into a queue. Correct. Mm -hmm. Right. But that's when our system is, is has got a lot of calls coming in. Yes, correct. So you could go straight to a person. Correct. Or you would get the calls. And I've listened to the calls because we've had some people that are frustrated. Because people want to talk to humans. We're going to get to this. We were talking about 311 yeah. with Eddie. <laughs> Understandably. People want, to, people want to talk to humans, so they get frustrated. And what they do right. is, and, and the, num the, the concerns that have been raised by the community, I find that the, a number of them, actually the great deal of them, they hang up around the 46 to 56 second mark. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now that's bad, right? Yes. Because why? Because then what happens is it disconnects the line, yeah. but then it shows in our system they disconnected. We are required to call back disconnects provided there's a valid phone number. Right. Mm -hmm. So the system will automatically generate a call back. So it's not tying up a call taker at that point. And then once the person hopefully picks up the phone, they'll hear a pre recorded greeting. You have called Montgomery County 911. Do you need public safety response? There's an option, press five. If the answer is yes, then it'll come back into our 911 center for it, the call to be answered. If not, then press nine. If you hang up, then it goes into an abandoned queue in which a physical 
call taker will mm -hmm. have to then call that number back. But but on the uh, I'm sorry. No no. <laughs> <laughs> on the, see, I get a little bit of knowledge, and I'm like yeah. all of a sudden. This I'm, is great. It's excited. But yeah. <laughs> but so the other thing that happens when they hang up is what do they do? They call back. They call back. They and call what happens back. To them? Yes, and then they get back in line and in queue, queue, and the recording yeah. keeps it. It's it's a vicious cycle. So it's like a drive-through, right? If I yeah. and that's the analogy I use. So if you go to one of the drive-throughs in the neighborhood right now, you'll drive up. You don't get a live person. Hi, you've come to this establishment. I don't want to say which establishment. You've reached this establishment. Do you have your code? Are you going to use your code or whatever you're going to use? It's not a live person that's saying mm -hmm. that. It's a recording that's saying that, and then the live person comes on. Any place typically you call right now, you are not getting a live person. The You're initial getting a recording. contact is yeah. not yes. necessarily that live however, person. However, right. So, however, with to your point, 911, provided we have specialists able to answer the calls, meaning they're not on other calls, they, that live person will answer that call. So it's not every time that they get that recording. Right. Now, you, you've said specialists a couple of times, and yes. I just think it's incredible. We have call takers mm -hmm. and dispatchers, mm -hmm. and that differentiation between both. So as a call taker, how many call takers do we have? Right now, um, right now I have a staff of 139 total okay. um, for, for call takers 74. 75. Okay, and they are, the call takers would be the initial point of contact. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay, so you are that yes. initial point. And you, I think it's important for our community to understand, you're bilingual. Yes. So if I am Spanish speaking or, and I'm sure you have other languages, yes. right? But if I'm Spanish speaking and I'm calling in and I'm in an emergency, I call 911 and I am speaking in Spanish, it's completely fine. Yes. We will get to you or yes. to another Spanish speaking individual. Yes. You would either get, I mean, they will get on the line and they will ask for your someone. Your preferred language. Your preferred okay. language, and they will say Spanish, and then I will tell them, well, I speak Spanish, and I would continue on the conversation. And typically I can hear, depending on how they say hello or their background, what they're saying in the background, I already know they speak Spanish. Yeah. So I try to, right after my greeting, I just try to ask them in Spanish right away what is going on and what their emergency is. So let me hear that. <laughs> Put you on the spot. Here we go. Ring. I was just going to do a ring, ring. <laughs> so they hear the recording, yeah. and then I'll say, Usted llamado 911 a Montgomery County 911. Usted tiene una emergencia. ¿Cuál es la dirección suya? Una línea gra grabada. That is so neat. I wish I knew another language. I studied yeah. German. Didn't get very far. Anyway. <laughs> so then you're going to go into a line of questions for that. Yes. Now what happens, I'm calling. I just want you to get there. Why are you asking me all of these questions? Well, I try to explain to them in order for me to get them the help that they need and in a timely manner. I need to know an idea of where they're at. Work with me. I understand you're stressed. You don't yeah. know where you're at, but just work with me. Tell me what do you see. Do you see a street sign? Do you see something? Do you see a building? Do you see, is there a gas station? Because I'm looking at the map that I have or the tools that were given to us mm -hmm. to use. And I'm looking at those things trying to, to see where they're at. The Hispanic community uses a lot of nicknames for different places, mm. so they will their address is basically a Londri or you know, but that's how they communicate with each other. So they'll just give me a nickname, and then I'll go by that. But I'm already starting to send something based off of what I can see on the map. Yeah, that I think that's important too for them to know. You're you're already you're speaking to them, but you're also getting in touch with dispatch to get officers already on their way. So you're just not kind of buying time. No, I'm not you buying You are time. asking those questions because we're getting the right resources yes. in the quickest time. There's a time. lot of stuff going on on the back end. We're asking you these questions and we're trying to get information and the most important things that we need to do that first push so the dispatcher can give that information to the officer or the officer can see it. It's not, and I hate to say this, I don't really care what's going on with your personal life. I'm not being nosy. I'm just trying to get enough information to get what you need in a timely manner. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not, I don't want to be combative. I don't want them to be combative with me. I'm just trying to help them to, so we can get the next call, yeah. And on the other end of it, so the product you ha you're, you're getting, the input, is being sent to officers. Mm -hmm. And through experience, we know officers are nosy too. Uh, <laughs> on the way in today, I heard Sergeant ask, well, how old were they? What were they? 
you guys already have that information. So yes. there's not this back and forth because we know through mm -hmm. decades of experience what we need to collect. Yes. yes. So I, I want to circle back around because I want people to realize what's going on with, with, with these phones, right? And why it's so important, why we got to hammer home, call 911 for an emergency and find out another way if you're looking for county services, if you're just not emergency. So you said 70, 70 call takers, 76 right now? 74, 75. Split 24, seven. Correct. 365. Correct. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, so you and I were talking the other day. That means generally right now, because and we're in a attrition problem, right? Mm -hmm. We have like 30, we went over the numbers the other day. 30%. We're, we're down about 30% of our mm -hmm. staff and all those folks would be, a lot of those folks would be call takers. Yes. So ideally we should have 20 people taking calls. Correct. Right? And, and, and that still doesn't account for the proliferation of cell phones, right? But it's pretty darn good because right now our average Response time for July of 2024, our average 911 answer time. Answer time? 11 seconds. 11 wow. seconds. That's pretty darn good. Yeah. Yes. But it's the outliers that get people upset, right? Like yes. the 52 seconds. Yes. But going back, right now we have 8 to 11 people taking calls. Correct. Right? Yes. So one accident on 270 <laughs> will wipe out our call taking, uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, yes. not wipe it out, but it, it, it will. Uh, flood come the into system. this flood the system, and then someone from somewhere else in the county that may be calling in for another accident or something, like that's where we run into these waves. Those are all our people. Mm -hmm. Correct. Right. So that's why, you know, if it, and again, we want people. We we've said this forever now, right? See some see something, say something. Yes. Correct. Right. And call and get people help, mm -hmm. and they're calling the right place because we got to send fire rescue. We got to send, mm -hmm. and that's the other neat. Uh, I'm going all over the place. I apologize, but. <laughs> This is neat stuff. If people <laughs> understood what happened behind the scenes, yeah. um, to get them the help they need. But again, eight to 11 people at any one time, all of a sudden, like uh, during rush hour today, could be overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what causes the delays, which, and if someone's calling in now, going back to you, some people have called some, uh, people just want to talk to people, mm -hmm. which is what the other, we were talking, Eddie, before we came on, mm -hmm. like, that's the pro people want to talk to people and the world has become automated yes right so what are the some of the calls you've got on two seven nine eight thousand that you're like come on man <laughs> you can say it is fine we need to educate people <laughs> anyone call that want a recycling bin um i've gotten people to call that have asked for items that could be taken care of by the county say uh you know there's a stretch of county road that needs a be cleaned up because of the trees are over extending themselves onto signs. They've called. I've that's been a nine one one call. Um, mm. Right. That I've had to explain to them. Look, I get it. Right. You know, it's an emergency for you, and I can see where you see the up impending emergency coming. But you can do that either online or you can call three one one. That's county services. Right. They can do that. We're non police, non emergency. E that's something you can do. If you don't have time to do it right now, you don't want to get on the phone, you want to talk to somebody, I understand you don't like the computer, but you can go on at 2 o'clock in the morning and put a service request in, and it'll be taken care of. Right. But that's count that's 311. That's not... Because if they're calling 911, they're... That's not an emergency, yes. as we know, but they're also taking up that call taker for somebody who may possibly have an emergency and then is not waiting only the 11 seconds, right? It could... Definitely. And then they get upset because if yeah. we have a lot of calls coming in that day and they've called non-emergency and they've been on hold or they've called 911 mm -hmm. and they've been in the middle of some huge issue that we've been dealing with, they're bad because I've been on hold for 20 minutes or I've been switched between different agencies. That's just for, hold, let's clarify, that's that 20 minutes you just referenced. We, that's for non-emergency. That's non-emergency. Non-emergency. Not 911. Right. Non-emergency. Right, 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 right. No, not 911. Not non-emergency. Because we do answer 911 calls first. Right. So on and then we send them, we send them to 2798000 if yes. you're not an emergency. Yes. And we handle the 911 calls. Right. We will transfer you to non-emergency. You are, you know, there may be a delay. And that's where they get upset because they don't understand why am I calling a 911 but you're, it's a non-emergency situation. We right. handle 911 calls first. And, and to drive it home, it, I mean, we just had a great story uh, that involved a retired officer and CPR. 
a true emergency mm -hmm. where you, you all uh, gave life-saving instructions on how to do CPR. Now, and, and if you know any, yeah, if you know anything about uh, heart attacks and uh, CPR and why it becomes so valuable, right? Because lack of oxygen to the brain causes mm -hmm. brain damage, and ultimately you, I mean, heart attack, your heart's not working, you're gonna die. Mm -hmm. So if I gotta wait 52 seconds mm -hmm. to get to help because someone's calling 911 because they want to report a, a parking complaint. A parking yes. complaint. I was thinking a dog barking. My neighbor's a dog, dog barking. was barking. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, now you've got examples. Well, I, I was thinking that example <laughs> earlier, and I didn't want to say it, but that was something that I would often, you know, hear, yeah. and I'm like, no, it's right. your neighbor's dog is barking. Please yeah. don't call 911 for that. Yeah, but. yeah call animal services. Yeah. Um, the, uh, but yeah, that, that's real life, and, and why we want folks to understand, right? Mm -hmm. Fi use one of these other, the beauty of my, I, my daughter figured out how to fix her motorcycle by Googling things last night. Yes. Right? Get on, Google something, go to the Montgomery County website, it's all there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just search it and find out how to take care of these other things mm -hmm. that are not police emergencies. Yes. Well, we have 311. Our county is you. We can We have 311. Mm -hmm. We have 311, and, and sometimes you all have to answer that, right? So 311 is only 12 hours, so they work 7A to 7P, so typically those calls then would then come to us because we're there 24-7, 365. Right. And we're, we're working on different things, right, to yes. kind of take the pressure off, off our uh, call takers, off our Correct. emergency communication center. Um, we're looking at AI. Yes. Not quite up to prime time yet, right? right. AI to answer the calls, but mm -hmm. we're working on it. Correct. We got another, it, people don't understand this too, right? The other calls we get, mm -hmm. tow calls. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right? Yes. And and so we have tow, we, 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 part of our call, I think I have a number here today. Oh, here's some more facts, Cass, Cassandra. We get about 2,500 calls a day in our communication center. Wow. 1,500 of them are 911 calls. 700 to the 2798,000. Mm -hmm. And a lot of those are the tow calls, mm -hmm. the alarm calls mm -hmm. uh, from the alarm company. Mm. But really, when I was talking to the ladies earlier, it should really be 700 calls to 911 instead of that 1,500. So we get double the amount of calls coming in mm -hmm. that we have mm -hmm. to screen through. Mm -hmm. um, we get 30,000 tow calls a year in Montgomery County. And these, these, these folks handle them. <laughs> so again, those 70 people, I've already looked 30,000, just handling 30,000 tow calls, right? Wow. Um, so, ooh, 6,600, we talked about this. Abandoned. Abandoned 911 yes. calls. Yes. Where our Caught system, yes. yep. Yes. And they either go back into the queue or, or we call and them that's back. And that's a month. We call them back. back. Yes. A 6, month. 6,600 a month. Wow. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, and really, on the, day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. the uh, oh, that's right, alarm calls mm -hmm. per day, 1,500 to 1,600. Mm -hmm. Per day? Per day. Yep. And that's not, is that including the text messages? Nope, that's not including the text messages. You guys are busy. We yes. get text messages as well. You know, I know we said, I, I said in the intro, you know, that you guys are that first, you're the initial First of person. the first responder, right? right? right. right. Yes, You're that's, the initial person that people speak to in that time of crisis. Mm -hmm. I know you guys are so busy, but you're also that communication to us. Mm -hmm. And you guys are the absolute most expert communicators. I think it's just imperative that the community understands we need to do what we can to lessen that load upon you guys so you have the ability to do as much work as you possibly can for them. Right, I'm, I'm so glad that we are here doing this. Do you have anything else that I, you want to? Any more quizzes? No, I can't think of any more quizzes right now. I, I'm glad you pulled the dog, the dog barking one. Well, and, and <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was on and I just was like, I'm not gonna say it, but then I couldn't not say it. Hmm. Uh, my child doesn't want to go to school today. Oh, crisis, crisis center. center. <sighs> crisis center, not, okay, I like it, because I get those all the, we get those all the time. Yes. How many have we gotten this week? Oh. 
Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, right. they, they keep adding up. Or can you have an officer come over here because I want you know, my son to behave. I'm like, well, you don't want him to be afraid of the officers. Right, we don't want that. We you don't, don't want right. that. See, that's an old school thing, right? Yeah. The whole uh, scared straight thing. Yeah. We don't We do not do that. No. You don't and want them to be scared. You want them to understand that an officer is there to assist them and help, help them, yeah. not to be afraid of them. Right. Then they won't go to them when they need the help. Yeah. Well, th this has been fun, and we're gonna do this more uh, and, and talk about some more things. I really want to get into the stuff we've talked about, what you're doing to recognize your, your folks for their life-saving efforts. I want to talk about the impact on mental health because mm. uh, I can think of right now a terrible call that I remember having to listen to as director of major crimes and you all were on the other end of it. Um, so we're going to talk about that stuff more, um, but today's message, make sure if you call 911, it's actually an emergency. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Awesome. Again, thank you guys for being here with thank us. Thank you. And thank you for staying tuned. Until next time, stay safe, stay connected.